Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. Today, I am super excited. I've got a couple of topics lined up for you guys. First, we're going to go ahead and talk about Shantopolis, which is in shambles, it would seem that it is continuing to crumble. Reactors are starting to give up. The content doesn't seem to be going anywhere. The men, well, are they real? And then we're going to go ahead and talk about Natter El Shami, who seems to be finally facing some consequences for his actions. And lastly, we're going to talk about Amber Lynn's new community tab, She Has Quit. It's causing quite the stir. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Girl Talk. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with our Shantopolis update. Yes, that just feels right for some reason. Anyways, it seems like yet again, Shantopolis is crumbling. There is just this feeling in the air that people are done with our fair lady Chantel. But don't get too sad, folks. I have found that this does tend to happen pretty often. Her channel has become a roller coaster of emotions ever since the shift from recorded content to live streams. I think that based on my observations, she now needs live streams. She can't. She has no choice of going back to recorded content full time. And that is because she needs to put out multiple streams a day in order to increase her views. If she just put out one video a day, it wouldn't be enough to sustain her lifestyle as it would only get around 10 to 20k views. It would take her a very long time to get that mukbang audience back. I believe we are now fully off the deep end, guys. This is my expert YouTube analysis. Expert Legos. It may seem as though the conversation is shifting away from beauty, but for now, that is all simply a facade. Her social blade is actually up in the views department. Although, I do think that she is panicking a bit. I was super excited to watch her go to Turkey. It wasn't just about the girl talk content that that would provide and the fabulous live streams we could have. Okay, it's a little bit about that, but I was genuinely excited to see this woman leave her comfortable Canadian bubble. I think Chantal is perfectly comfortable where she is. I don't know if she would even be Gucci in the US. Like, she needs her Canadian bubble. She needs that health care. Can you imagine the medical debt she would accumulate and probably never pay off if she lived down here? Canada, it is. She has, though, suffered a bit in the subscribers department, which is no surprise to me. I think people like to punish her, and since the dislikes are off the table, why not just remove your subscription? That'll show her. At this rate, our queen will never hit that coveted 100k. How long has she been stuck weeble wobbling between 89 and 92k? It feels like a very long time. Anyways, I feel like this happens all the time with the Chantal community. People will be done. Chantal will plan some sort of like redemption arc that never comes to fruition. It's all part of the cycle. So she just came on live and said that today she just wanted to bees, which means she's just going to sit there all day again. But I have noticed a couple of reaction channels actually noping out on her, which is something different and doesn't bode well for her. I have to say, a lot of the discourse around Foodie Beauty has been in relation to Natter Al Shami. She needs Natter. She feeds off of Natter. Natter feeds off of her. But that wasn't going to last forever. On Sunday's live stream, we spoke about how she's just not fun anymore. One of the reasons is that we cannot believe a single word that comes out of this woman's mouth. How fun is it to talk about a man that may or may not exist? Basically, I think that she is really just going through another boring time. It's never a bad idea to diversify your content if you do cover Chantel because of these times. I think that things will recover as they always do. This isn't a girl apocalypse. It's more like a law situation type deal. There's no use telling Chantal what she should be doing because she will do the complete opposite. So maybe we should be telling her to sit at her computer eating and on edibles so that she does go out. 
I personally think that she needs another real man. No, a man that is willing to do YouTube with her. There's so many people out there just dying for a little bit of clout. Go get him, tiger. Things don't seem to be working out with Mr. Coffee. He's playing with her head. He wants to move to Ottawa, but he's going back to Montreal. He flips switch, according to Chantal. In my opinion, he's probably married. It's so sad. She needs to find someone new. Someone that wants to be her YouTube boyfriend and not an I'll keep you my dirty little secret. So let's go ahead and address some of the recent alleged scams, shall we? Still not a single VIB has gotten a postcard. Is that a crime? I don't know. I noticed one of her VIBs bringing it up, but here's where I'm at. As long as nobody is making a stink about it, there isn't much to say. She's not ripping me off, so what do I know? There needs to be a victim for this to be a scam. Maybe the people signing up know that they won't be getting anything and they're just doing it as a troll. That doesn't make it okay though. She could literally go buy some Canadian postcards and her little VIBs would be super excited. But no, even the people that support her unconditionally are treated like absolute crap by her. She should consider herself lucky at this point. If anyone else behaved like this, people would dip. Does she realize that? Speaking of alleged scams, there has been a picture circulating of Chantel in a bikini posted on her OF page on August the 28th. I did note that she lowered the price of the page down to $9.99. I don't think that her little I'm quitting YouTube so come join me on OF bit did her any favors. It just looks really bad, but again, I don't think that any of these people throwing money at her really care. Her pic got one like since it was posted on OF a couple of days ago, so I imagine only her most diehard supporters and a couple of trolls signed up, and they know what they're getting into. She has said she's thinking of quitting the OF, so it can join the pile of things that never came to be. Speaking of things that never came to be the hot tub live stream. I did notice a couple of people grilling her in recent live streams about things that she says she's going to do. She doesn't do them. The only one was taking Pete's to pride. At least she did that. I vaguely remember her saying that she got a telly with a hot tub slash jacuzzi. She changed her name to Hammeranth on Twitch. I thought she deleted her Twitch, but no, she changed the URL as well. Her most recent live stream before the lunch bees was an absolute bummer. She's claiming that the night before she had an amazing night with this man, but their connection is only in the bedroom. She wants love, but it's just not working out. I don't know if any of this is true, but... I believe she should be starting up the glow up arc again. She needs to work on herself. She needs to respect herself. And then maybe she will be able to find a man that respects her. The funny part of this situation is when she was supposed to be with him, she was outed by Pete's saying she was still at home. And then a couple of hours she was back on live stream. Is it bad that I want to come home in bees and fry wieners and melt cheese? Melted cheese bees later. So did she go? Probably not. Just add that to the pile of lives. Yeah, I'm feeling kind of constipated today. Anyways, okay, you guys, next I have some fabulous news about Natural Shammy. Yes, it may not be exactly the news that we want, but it is a step in the right direction. I'm getting this info from a channel called Eerie Pepperoni, who has been giving updates on this situation very extensively. So now I'm going to say his name. I don't know. I'm just feeling very degaff. So word on the street is that Natter has actually had a video removed. The live stream in question was called I Love Love you, Yolanda. And it is being reported that his video had gotten taken down for harassment. In the video, he doxxed and threatened people, and supposedly he did get a strike, and that means that he has been put in a timeout. Now, there is no way to tell exactly what is going on because Natter will not admit he is wrong in any way, but it is my understanding that this is his second warning. The first time you get a slap on the wrist, don't do that. It's only the second time that you are not allowed to post. It's unlike Natter to go MIA from his channel, so that's what I am assuming happened. The thing is, is I'm not a person that relishes in like removing people from socials. It's just not me. But Natter and Shani, if you know Shani, they have crossed that line for me. It's not an easy line to cross. You could be trashing me, dragging me to and fro, and I still wouldn't call for it. 
But this man clearly cannot be trusted with such a platform. At least we do have word out about who he is. Has Natter finally been caught? What's going to happen with the 10 plus counterclaims that he has received back? He seems to be skating on some thin ice here. F, oh my goodness, damn it, you guys. So I was just about to put the video up and I was going to get a picture of Natter to put in the thumbnail. And I looked at his video and he's scheduled a live stream called Keep dreaming. I guess he's responding to the people that are saying that he got a strike. Um, at this point, I'm assuming I'm going to keep the rest of the footage the way that it was, because that was my opinion at the time. But I'm assuming that this was his first. And so that they just gave him that slap on the wrist. Usually when they take a video down for those claims, that is a strike. But I don't know. I will let you guys know any updates in the future. Stay tuned on Girl Talk. All right, you guys, I wanted to take the time to do a little segment on ALR drama. Y'all know it never ends over there, but it seems like Amber has actually quit. So let me go ahead and share this community tab with you guys that has a lot of people upset. And I'll tell you guys who's really hurt by this community tab post. I'm sorry, but I am done with the read along. If I find another avenue to do it on, I will let you know, but I am so beyond tired of things getting tainted for me. We did say that she should put it on a different channel, but okay. This was never a book club. Go back and look at the first post I even created about it. I called it a read-along, period. But so many people are having issues with how I am doing this, even though there are zero rules for a read-along. To be honest, most read-alongs aren't even as conversation-based as much as I have been. A few shared opinions, sure, but not daily posts about each chapter. But somehow, it still wasn't good enough, or I was doing something wrong, or trying to prove how smart I am, or I was being lazy with how I was doing the read-along, etc. Like, what? This is simply something fun I thought we could do for people who are actually interested, but somehow people always seem to ruin everything for me, no matter what it is. If you do not understand why I am stopping this, be grateful. What? that you never had people treat you this way or make you feel the way that I do now to the point of not being able to hold a damn read along anymore because there is so much negative energy surrounding it. I am choosing my mental health first. The very thing that people always tell me to choose above all. I will be continuing to read the book, probably finish it tonight. Honestly, if you are interested in talking to me about it privately, send me a DM on Instagram. Okay, so Amber Lynn, even in the previous video, has been upset by the negative discourse that has been surrounding her for quite a while now. I don't think that it's gotten particularly worse recently. Honestly, it reminds me of the video I did yesterday talking about the Trishy Land Trisha Paytas subreddit. She never wants to take any blame for the negativity that she has cultivated. It is like a cycle. And I know it's hard, but at some point, she just kind of has to move on and stop giving in to the negativity because this community tab post, who this really hurts, was the 20 or 30 people that were actually reading along. I seen quite a few posts from people discussing the book with her. There were actually people reading this book and this community tab post, everyone watching the haters or whatever you want to call them are just going to laugh at this post. The only people that are actually going to be hurt by this are the people that actually went out and bought the book and were reading along with Amber because they do exist. I think she should give it a try. I think Amber should just ignore it. Keep going with the book club, writing her opinions, maybe put it on Instagram or something if it's not working out here. And then people will be able to reach out and reply to your stories and stuff. There is a lot of people under there um, leaving their opinion. It doesn't look too good. I don't know. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Shantopolis is crumbling. Natter is punished. And Amberlynn's book club. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.